The question is, why do we not consider exponential functions a to the x for a less than zero? Now to ask this question, whoever wrote it must be trying to get me to learn something about exponential functions. So let's have a think, what does a to the power of x mean for a negative? Well we know what it is if x is a positive whole number. Well, let me just actually write that down so I can start thinking about it. For x in the natural numbers, so a positive whole number, a to the power of x is equal to a times a times times a where there's n times there. Sorry, x times. All right. That's what it means when x is a whole number. But that's not good enough to define it reasonably as a function. We should probably define it for all possible x. So I have to know what it is for any x, including fractions. Now the first fraction power that comes to my mind is um, power of a half, which is a square root. Um, but if x is equal to a half, a to the half is the square root of a and that's undefined if a is negative which is undefined if a is less than zero okay now what else well, I guess 1 on 4 would be the 4th root of a, which would be the square root of the square root of a, and so that would be um, undefined as well. And 1 on 6 would be the square root of the cube root, really the 6th root of a, and that would be undefined as well. So, in fact, any even power, so um, also if x is equal to 1 on p, for p even, a to the 1 on p is undefined for a less than 0. So we've got infinitely many even numbers to put there for p, so there's infinitely many x's where um, this function is undefined. So that's probably the reason why, because there's infinitely many. And 1 on p for p odd is defined, um, so it's a bit tricky to draw the graph with a large number of holes in it like that. So maybe we'll say that's the reason. So a to the x is undefined for a less than 0. for infinitely many values of x. So that's all the ones that, have, uh, that are fractions with an even number on the bottom. And not to mention all the irrational ones, we have no idea what it means there. So that would be why we don't consider the exponential functions a to the x where a is less than zero. So we should answer the original question by actually saying that phrase. This is why a to the x is not considered for a less than zero. Not to say we don't consider the individual powers, we just don't consider it as a, fun as a function as a whole. And that completes the question.